The Bible describes the Apostle Paul preaching a sermon in the cultural center of Athens. In his sermon he said, Men of Athens, I perceive that in every way you are very religious. For as I passed along and observed the objects of your worship, I found also an altar with this inscription, To the unknown God. What therefore you worship as unknown, this I proclaim to you. The God who made the world and everything in it, being Lord of heaven and earth, does not live in temples made by man, nor is he served by human hands as though he needed anything. Since he himself gives to all mankind life and breath and everything, and he made from one man every nation of mankind to live on all the face of the earth, having determined allotted periods and the boundaries of their dwelling place, that they should seek God in the hope that they might feel their way toward Him and find Him. Yet He is actually not far from each one of us, for in Him we move and live and have our being. As even some of your own poets have said, we are indeed His offspring. As we stand in the center of our city, we see that in some ways Seattle isn't a whole lot different than Athens was in Paul's time. We're a very religious people, devoting ourselves to causes, culture, and to other people. There are idols everywhere in our city, and none of us is exempt from the temptation to worship them. Every Saturday night, we throw a party to worship the unknown God that Paul was talking about. This God has brought himself near to us through his son Jesus, and we get to worship him by listening to his word and singing songs about how good he is. Join us at 6 p.m. every Saturday night to meet Jesus and worship with us.